Hey everyone, it's Tracy here with a holiday card featuring Lawn Fawn stamps. So to get started, I have some supplies. I have the My Mind's Eye 12 Days of Christmas 6x6 paper pad, and I picked out that polka dotted piece. And then I have the Alphabet Lawn Fawn stamps, and I'm just going to spell out Be Merry, and I'm going to um, stamp them onto a white piece of cardstock. And I'm going to be coloring them in with Copic markers. So you can choose to use um, Copic paper for it since I'm going to be blending them. I am using the 110 pound cards, white card stock from Coordinations. It works awesome for Copics and it doesn't bleed after you, you have to let it dry for your ink dry for a few seconds, but otherwise it works perfect. So I'm just going to stamp that onto uh, my piece of white cardstock. And they're really easy to line up since all the stamps are square. Um, you just put them right next to each other and they line up perfect. Alright, so I got that stamped out. And then I have my three Copic markers. It's the R24, R22, and R20 is the lightest. So I, in this part, I actually start with the darkest marker, which is the R24. But after I color it, I decided that I didn't like I usually color from lightest to darkest and I don't know why I started with the darkest so I actually ended up re-stamping the whole thing and um, re-coloring them all starting with the lightest on top going to my middle color Copic and then the dark color so that's what that looks like but this one is how I finished it so I colored them all in and blended them all out so now I'm just taking a black zig pen and making the faux stitching around the outside of it. Alright, so then I finished that, and there is my white card base that I'm going to be using, and I'm just cutting down the polka dotted paper to fit that. It's just a regular A2 size card. So I'll just adhere down the pattern paper, and then I'm going to use pop dots to adhere down the white piece. And after I did that, I decided that it looked too plain on the front and I wanted to add something. So I actually took off my the white cardstock piece from the pattern paper and the pop dots, as you'll see in a minute. And I decided to get my the Let It Snow set from Lawn Fawn and stamp the bells onto there. Which I should have decided to do before I adhered it down. So I just went ahead and took the pop dots off so that I could stamp it. And then I decided to take, I believe it's the Platinum Brilliance ink and stamp the bells on there. They're kind of hard to see, um, but depending on the light, you can um, really see them. And then 
I stamped the bows on top of the bells with some fired brick distress ink just so that it tied in with the red um, in my pattern paper and in my letters. And then I adhered that back down onto my pop dots for my finished card. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.